Hey everybody, this is Jason with everything ATV UTV reviews. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a classic. It's a 2001 Honda Rancher 350 four wheel drive. This body style of the Rancher launched in 2000, went to 2003, and they put a sportier plastic on it in 2004 and it went to 2006 but virtually the unchanged drivetrain from 2000 to 2006. So it's a testament to them getting things right the first time. These ranchers come in a couple of different variations, both two and four wheel drive. Of course, the four wheel drive is a full time, meaning you can't take it in and out of four wheel drive. Uh, then they also had an electric shift version and a foot shift version like this one. Uh, the electric shift, of course, uh, shift with your left thumb, not your foot. And there's a few more readouts on your instrumentation, including miles and hours. If you look at the specs on these from 2000 to 2006, they're identical. There's no changes uh, other than, you know, the plastic, you know, the plastic on the 2004 to 2006. It's a little sporty design. It actually makes it feel different when you're riding it, uh, just the way the fenders come up in front. Um, this one actually feels a little slimmer in the woods, just the way the plastic's laid out. Spike rides well. Uh, if you look at the specs, they claim 5.9 inches of suspension, front end back, and it uses that well. It's got drum brakes in the front, uh, drum brakes in the rear, uh, good stopping power. It's got a good sturdy rack system on the front end back. Of course, from 2000 to 2006, and these ranchers are carbureted, um, which, you know, they went to fuel injection. These carburetors work just fine. In the mornings when it's cold, you pull the choke lever and it fires up immediately every time. Uh, it's got a good setup. The 350 motor in this, it provides enough power to do what you want to do. It's not going to rip you off the back of the seat by no means, but it has enough power and it's smooth delivery. Um, I can see it being an advantage to a new rider or one that's got experience. The length on this bike is just perfect for the motor and the, and the power it has. It allows you to you know, climb embankments or do what you need to on the trail, around the house, or on the farm. thing I particularly like about it is the low seat height on it. Um, it allows you to get on and off if you know if you're doing stuff around the house or on the farm and you got to get off and on 30 times out of the day. This low seat height makes it nice. Your instrumentation on the foot shift version is very practical and laid out. You've got a neutral and reverse light and a temperature light on your dash. Then you've got a fuel gauge that's mounted in the tank. So there's virtually no electronics up there, you know, to tear up. You know, Honda uses a transversely mounted motor, which lines all your drivetrain up. It uses the power from the motor really efficiently. The market for one, uh, some things going into the buy you may want to look at is front and rear brakes, a battery, and possibly a carburetor rebuild kit or a good cleaning. You know, these things are getting some age on them unless you just find them in this kind of condition, which is rare. Um, budget those things in a lot as well as the oil change. But once again guys if you're in the market for a rancher the 2000 through 2003 models you know they're good bikes um, they're really hard to beat you know if you're just wanting something all around either for the farm or around the house or occasionally trail ride with you know you're not going to beat them. 